June is just two weeks away, so we are halfway through 2022. That is absolutely hard for me to believe right now, but here we are. I wanted to talk about some of the things you should know about buying a car, specifically a Subaru in 2022. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly Subaru videos, sharing tips and tricks, everything you need to know on your Subaru. So if you enjoy those types of videos, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. And as always, if you guys have questions by the end of this video, please leave them in the comment section below. Usually by the middle of the year, we start getting more information on our next model year. So for example, we have started to receive more details on the 2023 models. Nothing is set in stone or definitive, but we've been given an estimate and we should start getting our 23 models in fall of 2022. Now, whether that's September or November, I don't know exacts, but we do know that we are going to be getting those 23 models by the end of the year. And we're not sure when orders for those models are gonna open up, but I will be sure to let you guys know as soon as those orders open up so that way you can be sure to take advantage of that and be some of the first to get the new model year. It's no surprise that everything costs more in 2022 and cars are no exception. Because of the high inflation, the Federal Reserve recently announced that they are increasing their federal funds rate. So that is going to impact all loans, including auto loans. That means we are going to see less purchasing power from consumers because of the higher interest rate. So what could that potentially look like? We may see the higher interest rate decrease demand enough to the point where supply can catch up. And at that point, if supply catches up and there's a lot more vehicles on the lots, we will see prices start to come down. Whether or not that happens, I don't know. If you have a crystal ball and you are able to see into the future, please contact me. I'd love to talk to you, but we don't know what's gonna happen. That has the potential to happen. If it does, let's say we do see the price come down, but interest rates come up. It may actually mean the same net result because if you are paying a higher interest rate, but you're paying a lower purchase price, you still may end up paying the same for the vehicle that you otherwise would have over the total life of the car loan. What I have seen personally more recently is a lot more people bringing cash to the table, whether they're purchasing a car outright in full because they're not financing, or if they don't get the interest rate they like, but they don't have the ability to purchase it in full, they're just putting a lot more money down so they finance less and pay less interest over time. I bring this up because it is important to know if you are planning to buy a car this year that your interest rates are going to most likely go up and your purchasing power is therefore going to decrease because your monthly payment's gonna be higher. So if you are looking for a specific monthly payment and you have a goal in mind, then maybe that means bringing more money to the table, changing your strategy. Hopefully that doesn't keep you from buying a car completely because that would be bad for my job considering I'm a car salesperson. But anyways, it's just important to know you might wanna change your strategy a little bit plan to save a little bit more money or bring more money to the table to finance less, to offset the additional interest rate cost. For the 2023 models that we have coming later this year, the prices are expected to be higher, just like everything else, unfortunately. Those prices will go up. We don't know by how much yet, but we did see an increase in the 2022 model just as of April 26th, I believe. So it was the end of April, all 2022 model Subarus increased by $500 with the exception of the BRZ. I think that was the only one that wasn't affected. Also, by the way, if you ordered a car before 2022 or you reserved an incoming car, you weren't affected by this price increase. But if you order a 2022 model right now, it is $500 more than just a couple months ago. I've had quite a few people reach out to me recently who are looking for the 2022 Subaru. And the good news is we can still get some not all of them, but we can still order 2022 model Subarus, mainly Outbacks, Ascents, and Legacies. Our Crosstrek production just stopped and the Forester production has halted. So we are getting ramped up for the 2023. We just don't know when those are going to become available. So if you are still in the market for a new Subaru, a 2022, I can still help with that, mainly with Outbacks. That's, that's the majority of what we have uh, the ability to get right now or we do have some nice pre-owned alternatives. So if you need a car right now, sometimes your best bet, if you need something right now today, is to go with a certified pre-owned on the lot that's been inspected, that has low mileage still, and just a couple years old, or try to reserve one of the incoming cars that we have on the way and get it in sometimes just a few weeks. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.